Hey everybody, I'm back on the horse. Got my laptop back, feels great, and it's nice and quiet. So, to celebrate, I'm gonna make a video, even though I wasn't really planning to make a video. And you know, there is some stuff to talk about. Final thoughts on the Super Bowl yesterday. Um, I wanna say a few things that I didn't get a chance to say yesterday. One thing that I really enjoyed coming out of this Super Bowl is the fact that the Saints making it there was justified. A lot of people said that they didn't deserve to be there because of the stuff that happened in the Minnesota game. To me, this game proves that they deserve to be here. Maybe they didn't necessarily deserve to win that game against Minnesota, but by winning this game, this Super Bowl, they deserve to be here. So, in a roundabout way, they've at least justified why they were there even if maybe they can't completely justify beating Minnesota. They proved that they were a Super Bowl-worthy team by taking care of business yesterday, and I like it when things can take care of themselves like that. <clears throat> uh, the second thing, Peyton Manning did not play his best game yesterday, and Peyton Manning made some throws that he would rather have back. He made some bad throws. However, the pick six was not one of them. That was a perfectly ordinary throw on a very basic and ordinary play and Reggie Wayne didn't come back to the ball. When the first time I saw the play, yeah, I thought it was on Peyton too. And I can say about that is that used to be something that Harrison would do late in his career. And looking at it again, that one's and Reggie had a terrible game so it's only would find a way to blow it like that. So, I want to make that clear. A lot of heat for that interception. Play his best game yesterday. He needed to play better than that. But it's not because of that. He has to come back to the. He didn't do it. Allowed Tracy Porter to jump in front of him. So, if you want to rake Manning through the coals, you can probably do it. You can find a few throws that he missed on. There was the deep ball to Austin Colley. Uh, a couple of things he did on the last drive of the game. But I do want to say that interception, Reggie Wayne is going to have to live with that one for a while because I thought that was on him. And looking at the tape, I, I think you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, what else? What else? Um, you know, looking back, the worst thing the Colts could have done in that game is to take an early lead because they went up 10 to nothing. Colts felt great. And apparently Jim Caldwell took this to mean that they were the superior team who would just find a way to win no matter what. And he began to coach conservatively. Not going for a little something on that drive at the end of the first half was bad. Kicking that 51-yard field goal was even worse. And you guys saw what happened. And... Looking back, maybe it would have been better if the first quarter had ended 0-0 or, you know, just been a bad start for Indy. That way they would have been forced to be a little more aggressive, and instead they decided to play passive a little bit. The main thing I'm going to remember looking back at this game is Jim Caldwell getting schooled by Sean Payton. I think that's where this game was made. Jim Caldwell just was no match, and he's a good coach. He had a great rookie season, but he was no match for Sean Payton. The worst thing Sean Payton did ended up being a positive thing in the long run because it allowed the Saints to nick a field goal at the end of the first half anyway. Happens. But um, one thing that came out of this as well is Dungy's legacy is safe. Dungy would have been the guy who would have taken the fall in all likelihood had Jim Caldwell led this Colts team to a Super Bowl in his first year. He may do that anyway but at least Jim Caldwell didn't win the Super Bowl. And, um, yeah, there you have it. I don't really have much else to say about it. I mean, it was a great game, but I think I've wrapped up everything I want to say about it now. So, looking ahead, what do we got? Uh, tonight we got some good uh, action going on. I'm going to try and check some of that out. We got the um, Hornets playing the uh, Magic in... Frankly, I don't know if the Hornets are going to be able to get up for a game now that their um, city 
um, allies have won the championship, and now they're going to Orlando. Who's Orlando's been playing fantastic lately, and I'll even say I think Vince Carter's been playing better lately, so uh, we're going to keep an eye on that, but really I just don't see how the Hornets are going to be able to mount much of anything. Obviously with Paul out, doesn't help. Uh, Mavericks Warriors, this is a big one. The Mavericks have been letting me down lately. They're 1-4 in their last five. They lost to the Timberwolves the other night. They need to get back on the horse, and I'm not sure where that starts. I'd like to see a little more motivation from Dirk. I'd like to see a little better play from their bench. And specifically, I'm not totally sure what it is that they need to do, but they need to beat this uh, Golden State team tonight. Can't think of a better place for them to try and get their bearings. You know, Golden State, what with, you know, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, Spurs Lakers, I got no idea how that game's going to go tonight, but I am very interested in it. Um, you know, we'll find out a little bit about the Spurs. We're going to find out a lot about the Lakers. Kobe's not playing tonight, I don't think. And if he doesn't, well, I, I don't know what we're going to get because I'm not impressed with San Antonio so far this year at all. But L.A., not overwhelmed by them either. And the... Um, Kobe thing is obviously a killer, and apparently, according to ESPN, Gasol might not start. So, I don't know what that might mean. But we're getting into we're getting close to the All Star break. Uh, the All Star breaks in five, four, six days or something like that. So, I'll probably make a <coughs> overall season recap at the All Star break up until this point and talk about what I feel is going to happen in the home stretch. But uh, we got some good stuff going on tonight, so keep an eye out, and, um, really, I don't got anything else I want to say, so I'm done. Hope you all had a fun season. Can't wait for the next one. See you guys there.